Besides being a great deal of fun, we had the opportunity to go into an area, southwest Queensland, a regional area, and engage the communities through the auspice of the Regional Arts Development Fund Steering Committee uh, and to deliver a series of workshops and a conference relating to cultural development in the area. Everyone can find something that they like across the whole spectrum of artistic endeavour. Out here, what I've discovered is imagination. The most powerful nation on earth, imagination. Imagine if you had no imagination. So let the carnival begin. Ah, too much flick. Just sort of lob it gently, lob it gently instead of using your thumb to flick it. Now the kids who have got the, who have got the two down on balls and are nearly ready for... So you brought in a number of working professionals to assist you, probably? Oh yes, indeed. Specialists in areas such as juggling, magic, acrobatics. Action! First thing that I recognised was that there was a lack of communication within the community. People didn't go out that much; they stayed at home. Uh, people had their hobbies, or would go somewhere else. To some kids would go away and do boarding school, and then come back. And there still wasn't that much for them to do in isolation. Okay. Then we're going to do a run through of the show from beginning to end. I think we've got too many. Cars. The circus skills. These, the kids will grow more and more into. Uh, a lot of those kids in upper primary will be going to high school next year. It was getting near the end of the project that the high school kids really started to get engaged. Whoa. Good. Ah, better. You remember halfway through. Go. You've got to jump a little bit too, guys. That's it. Go. Better. These are the Greeks. Maybe we might find something about the Pleiades. So engaging the community is one thing, but bringing out what usually is hidden, such as the artworks that people had. So setting up the Dream Seed Gallery is a specialist area. Well, the initial vision was a nine-month project, uh, and it got condensed more and more down to really a 15-week project with the same objectives and the same strategies uh, which eventually got implemented. I hadn't noticed much art in Charleville at all but once Robin started instigating uh, the idea of a dream seed gallery with Dorothy Clues, both of them are visual artists and they got very very excited and pulled this together. They stimulated a lot of people in the community. I'm interested in recycling not just of garden and plants but also ideas. The dream seed really started to 
uh, stimulate the community. People wanted to do more paintings and more drawings and sculptures and have somewhere to, to express it. But once I started to realise that storytelling was the thread that carried uh, a sense of cultural identity and made the kids get excited yeah. about who they were and where they were, then things started to make sense. Just give people an opportunity to tell a story and all the stories will come out. What's your favourite subject? My favourite subject, Mum, is Play-Doh. I love to play with Play-Doh, the building blocks, and I love to sleep. So Culture in the Mulga is a very good example of what can happen in a quite remote community when a series of energetic, creative professionals spend a period of time there to stimulate new activities. It was a perfect example actually because we came with no preconceptions. I arrived as the director of the, or executive director of the project with, with no knowledge, no local knowledge knowing no one and not having a clue of what not only where to throw the ball but where to find the ball to throw it so we started from a blank canvas and uh, once the team started to build and we developed our strategies it was very very exciting and, and nourishing I'd like to uh, uh, commend the Shire and, and the, all its uh, components, the people that live here, the people that live on the stations, uh, uh, out and within the Shire itself on their individual and collective contributions.